Good morning children. Today we shall learn about different types of forest and the life existing there. We have already learned about the aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitat consists of the marine habitat that is the sea, ocean and also the fresh water habitat that is the lake, ponds, rivers etc. Most of the creatures on the earth live in the aquatic habitat but the diversity of life in the terrestrial or the land habitat is vast too. There are many kinds of terrestrial habitats for example the forests, the grasslands, the cold snowy hilly regions, extremely hot and dry deserts etc. And you know the animals living in the different habitats overcome the hardships in its habitat in different ways. So let us see the different types of forests. We all know the forest is a large area covered with trees. But all the forests are not same. In the tropical regions near the equator there are rain forests. It is called the rain forest because it receives very heavy rainfall more than 200 centimeters yearly. Also the climate is very hot and wet. Generally the temperature is between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. It is full of evergreen trees and orchid flowers. A variety of animals are found there like the monkey, gorilla, tiger, jaguar and many colorful birds too like the macaw, parrot etc. Now the question is how do animals adapt to the rainforest habitat as the climate is hot and wet throughout the year. So let us see. Lots of animals live in the rainforest, so the danger and the competition for food is high. Few animals use the camouflage, that is, merge with their surroundings with the help of their shape and color to protect themselves. For example, the stick insect is so thin and like a stick that it is hard to see it against the tree bark. And then, there are leaf insects. A leaf insect just looks like a leaf, hence it is able to hide itself easily in the plants. Even the carnivores use the camouflage, but they use it to stay unnoticed by the prey when they are trying to attack the prey. For example, the tiger with the stripes hide behind the trees and bushes. Some animals develop special food habits to eat what others cannot eat. Like the parrot has strong curved beak to crack the nuts and the ant eater eats the ants etc. Now how do plants adapt to the rainforest habitat? Let us see. The top branches of the tall trees form a dense umbrella like cover called canopy. This canopy prevents the sunlight from reaching the floor. Hence, very few plants are able to survive on the rainforest floor. There are few plants like the strangler and the lianas etc. which try to reach the sunlight by creeping up the nearby trees. You know, the leaves of the rainforest trees have special pointed tip. This is because the rainwater runs down the leaf easily. This tip is called the drip tip and it prevents the leaves from rotting. You know, the world's largest tropical rainforest is the Amazon rainforest found in the heart of South America. The vast forest of the Congo Basin is the second largest tropical rainforest on the earth and it is in the heart of Africa. 
Another rainforest is the Dane Tree Rainforest. It is the largest continuous area of tropical rainforest on the Australian continent. Now let us see a different type of forest. In East North America, Northern Asia, Western and Central Europe, the forest of deciduous trees like the maple, oak, elm etc. can be found. Why deciduous trees? The temperature here becomes too low in the winter, as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. So, the plants shed their leaves once a year, mostly in the winter, so that snow cannot get settled onto it. The yearly rainfall on an average is less than 200 cm. These type of forests are called temperate forests. The trees have broad leaves to get enough sunlight in the summer. Now let us see the animals found in the temperate forests. The black bear, fox, mountain lion, bobcat, rabbit etc. can be found in these forests. How do animals adapt to the temperate forest habitat? Let us see. As the temperature becomes too low in the winter, many animals and the birds migrate to the warmer places. Many animals hibernate to avoid harsh climate like the black bear, hedgehog etc. As the food is also scarce in the winter, like humans, some animals for example chipmunk, squirrel etc gather and store it for later use. Now let us see another type of forest. Taiga or the boreal forest of Canada, Russia, Scandinavia, China, Mongolia and northern Japan are very cold. Here the summer is short and the winters stay for very long. The rainfall here is very low. Average of yearly 40 to 100 centimeter only. The wolf, deer, rabbit, fox, bear, moose etc. live here. How do they survive the long snowy winter? Well, most of the animals, especially the birds, migrate to the warmer region, while some animals hibernate like the bear. Some animals grow thicker white fur before the winter like the fox and the rabbit. You know the reddish brown coat of the snowshoe hare turns white before the winter. White fur not only saves them from cold, it also helps in camouflage that is it helps them to hide in the white snow from their enemies or the predators. You know in the ptarmigan birds, the brown feathers change to the thick white feathers in the winters. And what about the plants? How do they survive? Here trees are mainly evergreen like the pine, conifer, fir, spruce etc. The trees found here have conical shape and also have needle-like leaves. The cone shape of the tree and the needle like leaves both don't allow the snow to settle down on the trees. Unlike the trees in the temperate forest, the trees in the taiga forest don't shed their leaves in the winter. Then how do the plants survive the snowy winter without shedding leaves? First, why don't the trees shed their leaves? You know, the soil isn't rich in minerals. so. The trees save a huge amount of energy by not shedding its leaves as growing new leaves requires a lot of nutrition. Besides, in the winter the ground freezes so the tree doesn't get water from the ground. The needle-like leaves help to conserve water by stopping water loss through the transpiration. So as we saw, even the forest habitat isn't the same everywhere. 
and the organisms adapt to different forest environments in the different ways. That was all for today. Bye bye children.